Ah, weddings. The smile on the bride and groom's faces, the amazing food, trying to keep that uncle under suspicion whilst trying not to drop the bride during the first dance. And then, of course, accepting the different traditions of each family, with one side offering up something old, something new, something borrowed and something blue. Apparently a toy TARDIS is not acceptable. And the other side hunting the bride like an animal on her wedding night. Wait, what? Yeah, that's the plot to Ready or Not, a 95 minute gore fest that is such a wonderful surprise at this time of year. I mean, it's such a simple idea and it's just done so well. Samara Weaving, you can probably guess her uncle, Mr. Anderson, stars in my notes as probably not Margot Robbie, but in the film as a lovely young woman called Grace, who, upon marrying into the horrifying Rich Led Domas family, finds herself asked on her wedding night to play a seemingly innocent game of hide and seek, only to quickly discover that if her new family find her before dawn, then she's definitely seen her last sunrise. I was halfway surprised to see that this wasn't a Bloomhouse film, all praise them, offering, as this is about as Bloomhouse as a film can get. Low budget, horror, cast of really good actors, loads of blood and gore, and plenty of black humour. There's loads of other stuff to like here. Pretty much the entire film is set in one giant wooden mansion which, lit mostly by candlelight, looks really creepy and intimidating. And then you get to our villains who, well they're just a riot. There's just so much to unpack with them because on one level they're your standard level of film super rich with pitch perfect casting, with the overbearing parents, alcoholic son, drug taking daughter, her whining husband, and... They're amazing because they're all in over their head. I mean, these people are using antique weapons that they're clearly not trained on. They keep attacking the wrong people. They can't quite seem to decide if they actually want to kill, help, or hinder poor Grace. Real subtle name choice, by the way. It honestly wouldn't take much to see them turn into a slapstick pantomime family. Instead, they're just a riot. Naturally, they have a dedicated butler and several maids who don't seem to mind that they're now cleaning up blood and limbs as well as dusting. Lots of blood. Which also adds to the tension that this film is so good at. Will this member help or hinder Grace? Are they dedicated to the kill or doing as little as they can? It's such a good twist on what could be yet another story of rich family decides to kill poor slash working class person. Weirdly though, with none of the controversies that accompanied The Hunt, which, when it leaks online, I will review. But back to Ready or Not and... It's the perfect modern B-movie for you and a couple of mates to enjoy with a few beers as Grace gets hold of a shotgun and shells at the midpoint and then smiles at how ridiculous this all is. It's as good as a film of this type could ever hope to be. It just doesn't put a foot wrong. Perfect casting, runtime, tones, lines, humour, a slight supernatural edge and a perfect mixture of creeping horror and black humour. Look out Blumhouse, all praise them. There's a new horror studio in town, Fox Searchlight Studios, which is owned by Disney? And this film is distributed by Walt Disney Studios Modern Pictures. Yes, that's the actual name. Wait, what? This is a Disney film. Low budget horror is where I flee to get away from the House of Mouse's relentless devouring of cinema. What, were your tedious CGI overloaded blockbusters delivering almost all the money in the world not good enough? You had to go after the crumbs as well? No wonder this film's like it was almost a family film with terrifying villains forced to rough it with bumbling henchmen. With 100% less blood and a few songs, this could have been a mainstream Disney film. But it isn't. It's an amazing bloody little B-movie that you really should check out with slash after a few beers. Even if it is part of Disney's plan to devour cinema whole. I just can't wait to see these characters appear at Disneyland. So drop everything, see it now. And what is your favourite ultra rich family doing thing film comment below let me know i'm daniel it's been a dunking if you've enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe